make this deck a lot better. Let's go and send him over to our Fire Crab and maybe inflate us. Perfect combo right there. I've gotten better with this deck. There's Hello everyone, I'm Digital Halo, and today we have an absolutely hilarious Fire Crab deck. I wanted to make an entire deck around my favorite card, Fire Crab, and the insanity that ensued. Well, you, you guys just have to watch. If you like this sort of content, please swish and flick the subscribe button. I just got to 1,000 subscribers, and I want to keep this momentum going. also wanted to announce the winner of the Magic Pass giveaway from my last two videos for me hitting 1,000 subscribers. It's Brat for Days, so if you're Brat for Days, please contact me on the back end so I could give you your reward. All right, let's talk about companions in the deck, and first up we have Ron, who is fantastic at clearing the board so we don't get overwhelmed early. After that, we have Ivy to clear up opponent Ron's or any other big creatures. Finally, we have McGonagall, who's fantastic CC in the endgame. Now getting to the fun part of the deck. First up, we have Firecrab. Basically, you want to play this card as defensively as possible in the beginning of the game. And when you have two or three in the same spot, you can just teleport them to the other side by using our next card, Port Key. Port Key is just there to send your opponent the gift of Firecrabs. That's all it's there for, and it does its job exceptionally well. You can also dodge certain spells with it, as you'll see in this video. Next up we have Orb of Water, which is fantastic in this deck because it's the only spell you can use to move your opponent. And what we want to do is move our opponent to the Fire Crab so they take more damage. And it's really, really good for that use. Following that we have Bombtastic Bomb Box, which is great with Pixies and it's just really good with any creature. Next up we have Monster Book of Monsters and it's just there to deliver bombs to the opponent with the help of Bomb Box. After that, we have Pixies, which also deliver bombs to the opponent. It's a nice present to give them, so, you know, want to be thoughtful. Following that, we have Inflatus. So we can use this right after Orb of Water, because when they're close to the Fire Crab, we can just Inflatus them, and that'll make the Fire Crab do so much more damage to them, and it'll melt the opponent. Following that, we have Matagot, and honestly, this one you can switch out with any other card you really like in the game. And I recommend something like Expulso if you don't want to use Matagot. I just put it there because it's another really good bomb box deliverer. But honestly, I just couldn't think of anything else to put here, so I put Matagot. Let's go ahead and get this troll deck into ranked. Oh my gosh, that's a cute dog. Alrighty, let's see what his Mastery of Magic is in. That's a Hermione deck. But looks like the levels aren't too bad, so we might actually win with this. Let's go ahead and play Fire Crab somewhere and just have it in reserve. We can send it over with our port key later when we have two Fire Crabs on the field and it's going to tank some of this Thunderstorm. That's perfect. We don't really need Ron in this matchup so let's just go ahead and use that, right? And Cornish Pixies plus Bomb Box should help us deal with Hermione, but he used a spell to kill it. That's okay. Ooh, Crucio's not great. Let's go ahead and get our second Fire Crab on the field as soon as possible. We need to kill the Death Eater. That works. Let's go and put the second Fire Crab, and then we can just send them both over. Maybe we should wait for us to have enough mana for Inflatus and the Port Key. Um, no, let's just do it. Oh, we should have waited. We could have gotten him with the Inflatus, and he would have been taking so much damage from the Fire Crabs. And our Fire Crab healed. That's hilarious. Okay. We need to put one more fire crab because three fire crabs on the field is the limit. Let's use water orb to bring him to our fire crab so he starts taking damage. That's a ton of damage. Ivy time. We don't want them to be removed. And they're both healing. He just can't go to a quarter of his map right now. He is getting suffocated. Let's go ahead and use port key and fire crab to get our last fire crab on his side of the field. This should do it. Alright, let's go ahead and use this port key. Oh, he's using Orb of Water. Let's use our port key now so it doesn't take damage. That's not how it works. I didn't know that. Okay, well, it, it's going to send him over now. Half of his field cannot be used. Perfect Inflatus right there. He's taking so much damage. We're taking so much damage. 123 damage per Death Eater's hit? That's ridiculous. We need to We need to do something about that. Okay, our fire crab got our back. 
he couldn't go to half of his field. He couldn't even walk. That was awesome. This is such a troll deck. The, the amount of entertainment value in this is... You're not going to win every game with this. I, I understand that, but hey, I'm playing it in Grandmaster. I'm playing it in Ranked, and it has a couple of wins so far. A level 13 Niffler is pretty tragic. Oh my gosh, that's strong. We have to kill it. Another Thunderstorm deck. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We need to get out our Ron and... Let's go ahead and play Cornish Pixie so we can take care of some of these creatures and Fire Crab. We're just going to play it on defense for right now. Man, we're taking a ton of damage. Oh, Atmospheric Charm is tough. Let's go ahead and kill the Death Eater. I'm taking a ton of damage from the Death Eater too. I'm misplaying a ton this game. I should have seen that he was summoning a Death Eater and ran away, not ran into it. A Matagot should get rid of this Death Eater. Mm. A Death Eater Bellatrix deck with Opali. I haven't seen too many of those. Let's go ahead and use Ron to get rid of the Opali for right now. Obviously, it's not going to get rid of it forever. Dang it. That was a good counter. Okay, his Opali did die. Let's go and put another Fire Crab. I should have put it closer to the first Fire Crab so they could teleport together, but now I have to use two different port keys to get them across. I think I'm going to use Water Orb to get Cassandra a little bit lower. Uh-oh, Atmospheric Charm, we need to run away. I'm going to send one of them over with port key, the one with more health. I'll send the other crab over when it has more health, after it heals with Hagrid. We need to get rid of this Opali. Oh, that's a really good Incendio, and that was a ton of damage on me. Let's go and IV this, so we don't have to worry about Opali. Man, he is doing a ton of damage to us. Let's go ahead and Water Orb, so we can get him close to the Fire Crab, who's doing a ton of damage to him. Go, Fire Crab, go! It almost killed both the Death Eaters, too. Okay, we really don't have an answer for Ron. We're just going to be taking a ton of damage here. Atmospheric Charm can probably... Um, I guess it's not coming for us anyway, so it's fine. Ron summoned a knight. So we're going to use the Fire Crab as defense, and then we're going to send it over. That was horrible by me. I need to go ahead and use the Water Orb to get this Opali under the Fire Crab so it can kill it. McGonagall should help get rid of the... Cassandra? It doesn't take out Cassandra. I thought Cassandra turns into a little squirrel or something. I didn't know McGonagall didn't do that. Let's go and port key here. That incendio is useless now. Uh oh. Man, Cassandra's still working. Let's go and kill her with this this right here. That'll do it. And all our fire crabs are in one place. We need to somehow spread them apart. Let's use port key on them again. That should spread them apart and make more of his field unusable. Okay, he's really low. Okay, we got him. Easy. I didn't think we were gonna win that. We were really low and we made a ton of mistakes. I can't believe that one in ranked. That's, that's wild. Let's go and ban at Bellatrix. I've had enough of their Death Eaters last game. Level 12 Opali. That's gonna be sucky. Okay, we have Fire Crab to play defense for us right now. Let's go ahead and do that. So, I don't think he's gonna be playing Opali if he has a Time Turner deck. Okay, Fire Crab's gonna hopefully heal pretty soon. Let's throw out our Pixies. So, he's playing a Snape deck. We can tell that because of the second Sempra and the little Snape that just popped up over him. Okay, that was a ton of damage. I took more than I wanted to, but Fire Crab healed a little bit. We're not going to get much use out of Ron this game, so we can play that whenever. Whenever we plays Kevin or something. 
Let's go and play a second fire crab. Let's use it as defense, and then we can send them both over to his side. It's really cool because he needs... Oh, only one of them got sent over. He needs to run around a lot to play Snape, and we could be blocking huge portions of his field with our fire crab mines. Okay. Ivy took out Ron. Let's go and kill this Ivy with bombs. Okay, that's a ton of damage. I don't like that. Let's put a second fire crab right next to our first fire crab and send them both over pretty soon. Okay, at least it didn't get the fire crab so I can just use both of them. Send them both with port key. See you later, fire crabs. Oh, come on. That's a horrible place for it. Let's go ahead and get rid of his time turner and then we can port key both those fire crabs again. Because right now he's he can't use half of his field, but that's fine with him. Let's get rid of the locomotor. And we can orb of water and just take them to our fire crabs. That's a decent bit of damage. That's not bad. Okay, okay. Ron is going to help us out by removing those fire crabs from that location. And we can just send them all back with port key at some point. Right now they're playing good defense for us. Okay, we have one fire crab left on our side of the field. The fire crab placement with Porky is not fantastic. We don't get to place them where we want to, so I guess it's just RNG, but I'd prefer if we got to place it somehow, you know? It would make this deck a lot better. Let's go and send him over to our fire crab and maybe inflate us. Perfect combo right there. I've gotten better with this deck. There's ways to make this deck less trolly and more you can win with it, I guess. Okay, last fire crab got sent over. Ooh, that would have killed us. Thank you, Pixie, for blocking that. Let's go and try to do some more damage. No! Okay, I guess we lost. But that was really close.